At a time where people feel more divided than ever before, it's a relief to know that there are still things that can bring us together in mutual hatred. And Queen Cleopatra is one of those things. Brought to you by a bunch of people who have probably spent years bitching about misinformation, Miss Cleopatra is billed by the creators and Netflix as a documentary. This adaptation of history takes us through the adult life of Black Cleopatra, someone who never existed. Black Cleopatra's life actually shares a lot of similarities with someone who was actually named Cleopatra, who was a ruler of ancient Egypt. But that was in the real world, a place that no one involved with this documentary has ever been. It takes you through her rise to power after her father's death, her dalliances with Roman leaders like Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, her never-ending quest for power, and her eventual demise. Pretty standard stuff for a documentary, except this time it's full of wild assumptions from a whole bunch of people with doctor in front of their name. Produced and narrated by Jada Pinkett Smith, who's still running her campaign to be the most hated person in Hollywood, Queen, spelled with a K and W, Cleopatra isn't just fodder for more arguments about modern identity politics. Unfortunately, it goes beyond that. And ironically, this is what constitutes actual dangerous misinformation. This isn't recasting a fictional TV show superhero with a different skin color because somehow that ends poverty or stops crime in inner cities or something. This is history we're talking about. This is the collection of humanities, best available, scientifically researched information compiled by thousands of different professionals over thousands of years, and that is vetted by thousands of their peers with a critical eye. But after their beliefs were laughed out the door by all of their colleagues, this group has chosen to supersede the academic community and just take their bullshit straight to the masses. Cleopatra was the last in the line of leaders from the long-standing Ptolemaic dynasty and eventually became the independent ruling pharaoh of Egypt, the last pharaoh in Egyptian history. This documentary acknowledges Cleopatra's lineage, but fails to mention that the Greek Ptolemies were famous for inbreeding. In the first 10 minutes, everyone in this documentary is already on the defensive, you know, like guilty people, as they make their case for why it's okay to portray Cleopatra as black. But their only real defense of it is that there's no recorded proof of who her mother was. Therefore, there was a chance she was quote unquote Egyptian on her mother's side. Well, ignoring for a second that they also portrayed her father, Ptolemy XII, someone whose lineage is not in question, as black, they then go on to claim that Egyptians were black, repeatedly showing sub-Saharan Africans as native Egyptians at this time. And what are their sources for believing Cleopatra was black? My grandmother was the inspiration for me. And I remember, clear as day, her saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. Your granny was a misinformation super spreader, and you're following in her footsteps by peddling lies to your students, and now everyone who watches this piece of crap. And by the way, this woman is unstable. She later mentions that she had recurring dreams where Cleopatra was coming to her in a ghostly form and begging her to tell the world her story. This is what constitutes a college professor these days. The kind of person you wouldn't let manage a Wendy's is responsible for educating students. Now, I'll even let you ignore the evidence that Cleopatra was of Greek Ptolemaic lineage. I'll even bypass the next logical option that she was of actual local Egyptian heritage. You know the best piece of evidence that Cleopatra wasn't black? No one ever said she was for thousands of years. Oh, well, no one ever said she wasn't black. Exactly. No one ever brought her race up. Cleopatra being black would have been an incredible thing that everyone who she came into contact with would have remarked upon. The first black queen in a thousand years of Ptolemaic history. You don't think Julius Caesar or Cicero or Mark Antony or any of the hundreds of people around them who were writing of these events would have remarked upon what would have been an astounding thing at the time? If you've ever read historical accounts, these kinds of writers were constantly describing people's physical characteristics. He was black of hair and stout of jaw, with a figure that held a striking resemblance to a blueberry. The skin color would have come up in the first sentence of someone's writings about Cleopatra if it was anything unique or worth mentioning. Just saying that she was of the Ptolemaic line at this point in history would have been description enough for contemporary readers to know her racial makeup, and as such, no one described her further. Calling out bullshit like this in TV shows and movies is one thing. It annoys viewers here and there, but ultimately, it's low stakes. It's all fictional, who cares? But rewriting history to match your unfounded extremist views is on a whole other level. 
It's bullshit, and it needs to be called out for what it is, because the lies about history that we let stand today end up in the textbooks of tomorrow. Documentaries like these provide the fuel needed for thousands of more people to go forward with their lives, thinking Cleopatra was something she wasn't. And when faced with the truth, they'll just be defiant and divisions between people will deepen. If you want to create a fictional show where you reimagine Cleopatra as black, or Shaquille O'Neal as a midget, or FDR as trans, fine. Do what you want, and we're all free to ignore it. But if you're going to pass your bald-faced lies off as history in a documentary that's educational in nature, then go fuck yourself. You deserve all the backlash you get. And nearly as bad as rewriting history was how they made an interesting historical figure unlikable. Cleopatra, in this account, is just a bland, strong woman who's always right because everyone around her is a moron. And you should distrust any historian who's comfortable showing Julius Caesar and Cicero as morons. Cleopatra's shown as a brilliant, studious, fierce, cocky, ultra-capable, seductive, beloved, sword-fighting, bleeding-heart asshole. The experts all gush over her every decision, and even present her suicide as a slay queen moment, all the while just kinda glossing over the fact that she slept her way into power. And they even went out of their way to dismiss everything bad ever said about her as propaganda. By the end of it, you're rooting against Cleopatra, and you lose any interest in getting to know the real Cleopatra. Even beyond the obvious main problem with this documentary, there are plenty of other things wrong with it as well. It boomeranged back and forth between making sure we knew Cleopatra in their minds was black, and making sure we knew how hard it was for her as a woman. The people contributing their stupid thoughts to the documentary were also contradicting themselves constantly, saying how a historical event went down, and then immediately following it up with, well, we don't actually know any information about this event. But my granny said... The whole thing looked pretty damn cheap too, and the acting quality was pretty much on par with what you'd get just pulling randoms in off the street. Now I'm not just talking out of my ass on this one. I sat down and watched this crap so you don't have to. And this thing is just rife with golden hate watch moments, with people contradicting their facts within 30 seconds of stating them, woke buzzwords, and just stupid people saying stupid things. So I wanted to include some of the other gems to be found in this documentary. For example, this clip. Everyone can imagine her in their own way. I imagine her to have curly hair like me and a similar skin color. That isn't science. That isn't history. That isn't even information. It's just your weird little imagination LARPing as historical fact. Or this one from the very beginning of the first episode. But few know the real woman, her truth. Uh, yeah, people like, oh, I don't know, you? All of the good royal advisors to Cleopatra were black, but the bad one was white. Julius Caesar has this weird scene where he's cuddling with a decapitated head. The scholars, if you can call them that, went out of their way to discredit a historical account because it was written 150 years after the event, instead choosing to rely on their grandma's account 2,000 years after the event. Those same scholars then pretend to know how good Cleopatra was in bed, and knowing just how confident she was sexually. And later they claim to know the exact words spoken between Cleopatra and Mark Antony during their pillow talk after they finished plowing. Then there was a scene where Cleopatra goes to Rome and outwits Julius Caesar, Cicero, and Mark Antony, dropping major shade on Cicero in particular while a Snoop Dogg track started playing. Then there's this clip that pretty much summed up this whole bullshit take on Cleopatra's life. I'm here because you win. I win what? Everything. And this brilliant historical description. You know that emoji where the head explodes? That's Octavian. Then these modern day buzzwords. It's misogynistic and it's xenophobic. Some fictional racially charged dialogue. Looks like your African sorcery failed you this time. This immediate contradiction. She's researched poisons that won't be painful. 12 seconds later. We do not know the method with which Cleopatra committed suicide. Then they went on to praise suicide and portray it as a powerful thing. And last, but certainly not least, the people who are blackwashing history take a moment to complain about people whitewashing history, a statement just dripping with delicious irony. So as you can tell, the racial recasting of Cleopatra was far from the only problem with this one. As for the rest of the historical accuracy beyond Cleopatra's lineage, well, you started off your documentary with a lie, so all of the other historical reporting you did is null and void, true or not. You don't get the courtesy of anyone even bothering to look it up. 
And just from a surface view, I think it's pretty racist to portray Cleopatra as black in a story that begins in Memphis and follows her baby mama drama where her child support gets cut off and her baby daddy gets killed. But that's just me. Personally, I can't wait for Netflix's Martin Luther King documentary starring Ryan Gosling, or Jackie Chan as Bass Reeves, but I won't hold my breath. The ratings for Queen Cleopatra are historically abysmal, managing to undercut both Witcher Blood Origin and Velma, a feat previously thought impossible. Everyone has been brought together, if just for a moment, to all agree that Queen Cleopatra sucks ass. In fact, it's so bad that Egyptian lawyers are suing Netflix and lobbying their government to ban the documentary. Now, it's obvious that the creators knew this would stir up a hornet's nest of backlash, and they were hoping to generate buzz around the series. I watched it so you don't have to, and I really recommend you don't spend your time on this one, unless you just want to laugh at people who make it clear that PhD stands for Pretty Hysterically Dumb. What Netflix adaptation are you most looking forward to? Kevin Bacon as Nelson Mandela? Idris Elba as Abraham Lincoln? Let us know in the comments below. Also remember to like the video and subscribe to Hate Watchers today for comedy reviews of current shows and movies. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll catch you on the next one.